Here we are, born to be kings with the princes of the universe. Hello, hello, we're in the loser's bracket. Like the shirt, yeah. Um, and we're in the loser's bracket in uh, week six of the MTGA, MTG Davao, Hey Joe Gaming, Tournament of Power. And now uh, we're off to face the big boss, Boss Petey, Peter, Boss Peter and his gobos. So technically, I'm or I'm just logging in, and I just logged in. And let's do the formalities. So the last time, uh, Nax played the more control. We got our ass has uh, beat by a uh, better, uh, not a better one, uh, but a bigger, better uh, uh, ramp deck in Daddy Ivo's Simic ramp deck. So I'm just waiting for the formalities. If uh, so, while waiting, uh, if you like uh, the video and uh, my coverage of my track to winning a tournament uh leave a like uh if you haven't subscribed subscribe and uh and you know comment say hi uh it would help greatly to the cause of uh, bringing you uh top quality <laughs> quote unquote top quality uh, magic gameplay in the leisure of your home or handheld or while you're taking a drive you're trying to listen to my wonderful boys so since uh, PD is gonna, gonna challenge me This, this I think I think I'm doing it wrong so we're gonna do here ah uh, yeah this challenge match yeah and uh, anywho so how's it going guys it's been a long week for me and even though the days are very short, like they just uh, even though the days are very short, oh there there there, all right, oh there is demo control, and let's do this anyway. Uh, where was I? Yeah, so even though I said. I had a very long week. It's just like you know, it, with with what's happening around the world, and you know the days are so fast. It's like I wake up, I eat, work a little, then the next thing you know, you're eating dinner. <laughs> so I hope you guys are doing fine, uh, holding up, and now uh, let's get back to the match. And we have a Baduzi. We are on the draw, but we have our ramp against goblins. Goblins. A turn one skirt prospector is looking very, very fine in the road to turn. Oh dear. A turn three Muxus is on the way. Yeah, so turn three Muxus is very likely. But we will delay the inevitable. So with him having a Skirk Prospector on turn uh, 1, then a Wily Goblin making a token on turn 2, uh, it proved very dangerous on our end. That he will go off in... Uh, 
eventually he will go off <laughs> on the third turn. That was a near near golden draw for him. I forgot he was in go Goblin, so I should have like a mulligan better. But uh, we're trying to hold on for now. If he has, yeah. If he has Kirk Prospector now, a land drop, or even just a land drop? No, he needs the Kirk. He needs to cast Krenko also. So he's having conflicts. Oh, he could make two goblins right now. Yeah, that's good. That, that's 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 nice. That's nice. And searching, searching for a prospector, I presume, or a moxus. So things are looking very, very, very mightily dangerous. Yes, he's looking for that. And we're gonna shuffle and pray. Pray to Bolas. We're gonna pray to Bolas. Yeah, he could sacrifice the token, put out Skirk Prospector. But he could just hold off. Because we need, yeah. Oh, okay. Much better. I mean, he's he's trying to sell. He could, he could sacrifice four tokens, get a um, ringleader or a yeah. He could cast ringleader or he could cast like the oh, he already attacked. Ah. Okay. That was very that was very strange. And he has ooh, Oh dear. So oh he has this guy. So he can Oh but he does not have haste yet. So he could sacrifice the two goblin matrons for a snoop. Oh dear. So he has another Krenko in hand. Having breeding pool is very, very bad. We can. We can block Moxus. We're gonna take a lot of damage. Let's just see. Two mana. Okay, he does not have these creatures. Gonna, gonna brace ourselves. Having no board sweep and having these two early on was very, very fatal for us. Goblins is uh, looking mighty, mighty fine. Oh, there he goes. He's going to storm off. He's going to sacrifice two goblin matrons to cast Instigator. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he could sacrifice all three so that he'll have one mana floating. Yeah gonna get big it's very dangerous we're gonna we're gonna sacrifice we are hoping and praying for oh, a very very good magma quick that is not magma quick if he does not have any lord we Block the draw. And 
with the snow pa na mukso sa craft digger's cage is looking like fine a pseudo blocker i said ability for him to use the top deck so we already know what's his oh could still block block already have the mana for nib mizet problem now We're dead. Nice. Going to attack with everything. And. Ora? Ora, ora. I know, I know, ora. I know. Okay. Yes, yes, Kaguya Sama. We made a, a very bad boo boo. But with that boo boo, we already know what's gonna happen. With that. We're bringing in the big guns. Uh, sensor is still okay. Uh, we could take away the combo. Uh, we could. I uh, know. I think the combo is still there. We, we're just gonna delay stuff but sensor is looking good because he's very aggressive and and take away one i mean i had experiences with graph diggers cage against uh alfred last week and it did not pull out great and Yeah, we're just gonna need to be really, really aggressive. Yeah. But we'll still keep our... We'll still keep our... Um... What do you call it? Our mini combo. And we're off. And we're playing on game two. This looks to be a much decent draw. So he is going for the mulligans. And another mulligan. Ooh. Thanks, Bolas. Oh, another one. What he's looking for. I haven't checked on his sideboard again. Going under, he has a very... Ag there's also an aggressive uh, game plan. Good game. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. Say that. Still have that. And yeah. Uh, the four and a uh, four hand. Sensor that. And that's not the spell that we're, that we're afraid of. Okay, we need the green mana source. Uh, we, if he has the land. Nothing happens yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, he 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 can muxus. He can muxus. He has a land drop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yes, he can muxus. Here, think.
Oof, I am having enough mana already, so we cycle this one already. Looking for it. And have it. Yeah, he could goblin matron this turn and uh, that's a one one going to search for a oxus apparently i think we need now is you know what board sweep <laughs> Okay, he's going for the Muxus. He has like one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Nice. Oh dear. Wow. He got through with it. Sorry, I typed. Oh, oh dear, he got the Krenko. Wow, that's so. But he has no haste, but he'll get haste. He can get Krenko again. Oh dear, oh my, we're so dead. Wow. Wow. Goblins, they just. But he has no hasty beats. No haste. Flame sweep would be very very nice off the top deck. Or a magma quake. Please a magma quake. Come on, justice. Oh dear, he has a so he can sacrifice this three and the token. He could have this. Wow, nice. Oh dear. Oh my, it's a massacre. Okay, and I have a bunch of tokens. Going to attack for a bunch. Two, four, six, fourteen. Yeah, good game. I'm gonna try to gain. And that's that. Oh my. That was an easy beating. Easy. 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 Anyway. So I'm eliminated from the tournament once again. So if you want to learn more how not to play like me, keep watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.